Another story that we're staying on top of for you tonight, the Baltimore City Board of Ethics wants to pump the brakes on the new retirement benefits bill. You may remember in a vote last week, City Council made the decision to reduce the number of years you need to serve to earn a pension. And as you can imagine, this is coming with some pushback from city leaders and residents, and now the Ethics Board they want to take a closer look, ensuring that the ordinance isn't creating a conflict of interest. WGC's live Christina Mendez is at City Hall and explains what happens from here. Christina. Hey, Vic and Rick. So, this bill that was passed just over a week ago, it still needs Mayor Brandon Scott's signature, but the Ethics Board is asking him to hold off for now, at least until members can draft an opinion on whether it's fair. So I believe we have nine in favor, two in opposition, and three abstentions. With that, uh, this passes. Baltimore's Board of Ethics wants City Mayor Brandon Scott to delay a decision on a bill passed by council aiming to change the amount of time elected officials need to serve before they earn a pension. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for checks and balances across the board and government. In an eight to five vote last week, the legislation would decrease the number of years from 12 to eight to qualify for a pension. The bill's sponsor, Council President Nick Mosby, says this was necessary after Question K was approved by the majority. Majority of voters limiting city officials to two four year terms in office. But the bill passing was not welcomed by all council members, including Zeke Cohen and Ryan Dorsey. Both took to Twitter. Cohen wrote, quote, President Mosby's bill creates a clear conflict of interest, while Dorsey plans to introduce a bill to repeal term limits. In a letter, Chairman Stefan Fogelman wrote in part, the Ethics Board is concerned it is impossible for the current council, while in term, to have voted in favor of the amendment without giving the appearance of a conflict of interest. The board goes on to cite an ethics law that requires public officials to disqualify themselves from decisions when there's an interest. Members say their plan is to send out an opinion on the bill to the mayor's office. I do. I do. I think there should be scrutiny for these things, certainly, and oversight, and um, not to the point where everything is mired in uh, bureaucracy, but this seems like a wise decision in this case. At this point, the mayor's office has not responded to our request for comment. Mayor Brandon Scott does have until January to either sign it or veto this bill. I'm reporting live from City Hall tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.